Welcome again, little scientists. We are talking about turtles again today. And remember to listen to the whole story because at the end, we're going to use some models of turtles to review the life cycle. This story today is called Look Out for Turtles, written by Melvin Berger and illustrated by Megan Lloyd. Most land turtles move very, very slowly. Suppose you ran a one mile race with a turtle. You would cross the finish line in about 10 or 15 minutes. The turtle would get there about five hours later. But did you know that some turtles can move very fast? These turtles live in the ocean. They have flippers instead of legs. Some sea turtles can swim a mile in less than three minutes. The very fastest human swimmer takes five minutes to swim a mile. Turtles on land and in the sea are among the oldest living creatures in the world. They have been on the earth for nearly 200 million years. Turtles were here at the time of the mighty dinosaurs and they are still here today. Why have turtles lived so long? Many turtles have hard shells. The shell is the turtle's house. It is also its shield. The hard shell protects the turtle from its enemies. When danger is near, most land turtles hide inside their shells. They pull in their heads, tails, and all four legs. Now the turtle is safe from harm. The turtle's shell has two main parts. The top part is called the carapace. The bottom is the plastron. The carapace and the plastron are joined by a bridge. The bridge has openings for the head, tail, and legs. The box turtle and mud turtle have a special kind of shell. When the turtle is inside, it pulls the carapace and plastron together. The two parts close up tightly. You can't slip even a penny inside. The carapace helps turtles to hide in another way. Many kinds of land turtles have a mixture of colors on their carapaces. Brown, yellow, green, gray, and black are common. The different colors blend in with the turtle's surroundings. A water turtle's carapace is usually dark in color. Water turtles swim so fast that they don't need colorful carapaces to hide them from their enemies. On soil, sand or mud, on grass, rocks or logs, in ponds, stream, or the sea, turtles can be very hard to spot. Turtles don't have teeth, but they can bite with their strong jaws. A turtle bite can hurt an animal or a human being. Turtles have survived for millions of years for other reasons. They can live almost anywhere and eat many different foods. Those that live in or near ponds and streams eat water plants, bugs, snails, and fish. Turtles that live on land, or tortoises, as they are sometimes called, eat plants, fruit, insects, vegetables, and worms. Turtles that live in the sea eat seaweed, jellyfish, crabs, and fish. Most turtles that live in cold climates sleep during the winter months. They hibernate. Some dig themselves into the mud on the bottom of the lake or river. Others snuggle into the soil on land. There they stay until spring. Sea turtles in cold climates swim to warmer waters when the temperatures drop too low. In March and April, the land turtles begin to come out of their winter homes. Over the next few months, the male and female turtles mate. The female then digs a hole in the ground for a nest. Even turtles that live in the sea crawl up on land to make their nests. The female lays a clutch of eggs in the nest. The number of eggs in each clutch varies. The African pancake turtle lays just one egg at a time. The green turtle lays up to 150 in her clutch. After she lays the eggs, the female turtle covers them with soil or sand and she leaves. For two or three months, the turtles grow inside the eggs. By the end of the summer, the eggs are ready to hatch. The baby turtle uses its sharp egg tooth 
to split open the eggshell. It takes from one to four days to open the egg and pull itself out. The baby turtle loses its egg tooth after a few weeks. The newborn turtles have little protection. Their shells are very soft, so they must get to a safe hiding place quickly. They go as fast as their stubby legs or flippers can carry them. Tiny sea turtles head right for the ocean. Somehow, they know the way. Usually they make the trip at night. Even so, many are caught and eaten by crabs and gulls. Young land turtles have to watch out too. Raccoons, birds, dogs, and foxes can easily catch and eat them. Turtles live longer than most other animals. One turtle lived to be about 170 years old. A soldier found this turtle on an island in the Indian Ocean in 1766. It was already fully grown when he took it to his camp. The turtle lived there for 152 years. In 1918, it was killed accidentally. No one knows how much longer it might have lived. Turtles range in size from tiny to gigantic. Among the smallest are the mud turtles. They grow to be between three and six inches long. The biggest are the seagoing leatherback turtles. One amazing leatherback turtle was found off the coast of California in 1961. It was nearly six feet long and it weighed close to 1,300 pounds. The Galapagos turtle takes the prize for the largest land turtle. At four feet long, it is about two thirds the length of the leatherback. This turtle weighs an average of 600 pounds. Turtles are survivors. Most have hard shells to protect them. Their carapaces help keep them out of sight. Different kinds of turtles can exist almost anywhere on land or in the sea. Various sorts of turtles can eat many different kinds of plants and animals, and some live to be more than 100 years old. Yet, every year, fewer and fewer turtles are left on Earth. Many are killed by humans. Some people eat the flesh and eggs of turtles, and people make combs and ornaments from their shells. People also build houses, roads, and factories on land where turtles live. Without room to wander, find food, and lay eggs, the turtles die. Turtles are killed by pollution too. As we dump poisons on the land and in the water, we kill turtles. Some types of turtles have already died out. The Kemp's Ridley is nearly extinct, and other sea turtles are endangered. Some land turtles, like the bog turtle, are endangered too. Once gone, these turtles will never come back. You and I have an important job to do. We must not harm any turtles we find. Save turtles we find on roadways by carrying them to safety. Help protect and clean up the land and water where turtles live. Ask for laws to prevent sea turtles from being caught in large fishing nets. By doing our job well, we can help turtles survive for another 200 million years. Follow me, let's do a quick activity. All right, little scientists, let's use my turtle models to review the life cycle of a turtle. All right, so like all the other life cycles we've been studying, which figurine starts off the life cycle? That's right, the eggs. So the mama turtle lays the eggs and you can see she lays the eggs in the sand and she makes a little nest in the sand. What comes next? Yes, a little hatchling hatches out of the egg. So each egg has a little hatchling that comes out. And then that hatchling grows into what we call a juvenile sea turtle. And then finally that sea turtle, the juvenile, grows into an adult. Now, you have some activities in your activity packet 
where you re can recreate this life cycle with your cards. If you enjoyed our read aloud today and our activity, remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to find out about our next lesson. Thanks for watching.